Hey everyone, this is Cubo back at ya, and today I will be showing you how to find first wave exotic ships. I went on finding exotic ships, the best ones I could find, and they are all guaranteed first wave space station spawn. I even checked it out myself, so it's the easiest to get from series 7 up to even a red squid. We got it all, and I will be showing you everything you need to know on how to find them. Also, if you like my video, and want to see many more of them give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe for more it's for free and really helps the channel a lot so without further ado let's get to it let's activate the portal and enter the glyphs the first location is gonna be in the Euclid galaxy and for the new players if you want to get those awesome exotic ships as well Check out my portal guide, the link for that is gonna be up top in the cards and in the description below as well. There's everything you need to know on how to find your glyphs and how to find portals and you can do that in minutes the fastest way a real lifesaver check it out and come back real quick okay let's continue with the glyphs a vortex a tent a tiki face and the last one is gonna be a three you can stop and screenshot it Just a reminder, before you enter the portal, like with every ship hunting, you need to go to the network settings and disable the multiplayer option. Otherwise, could be other players there as well at the same time and they can interfere with the spawning and you don't want that. Okay, let's go. Whoop. And we arrived, should be a frozen planet called Bashi 24P7, discovered by Worgen Wolf. If it's the same for you, that means you're in the right spot. Let's go into our ship and fly away to the space station. Look at those three suns. What an awesome looking system. Okay, let's land. And once you're exiting your ship, you're creating a save point. We're gonna reload that, but one last check multiplayer should be disabled and in the discoveries tab you see this system discovered by worgen wolf two months ago now let's reload now what i do to trigger the first spawn is to point at the entrance like you see here and without moving for 45 seconds give or take but it's up to you you can move around if you want to this ship is very reliable let's speed it up a bit for me it arrived 10 out of 10 times and there is the exotic ship look at that one what an awesome looking exotic red and gold royal series 7 exotic ship okay let's interact with the merchant and make an offer to buy this ship look at that one if you want to buy this ship for yourself you should go for the hyperdrive range and the maneuverability because the damage potential is pretty high anyways because it's an s-class ship all the exotics come in s-class and the shield strength once you put some upgrades for your shield in the ship you will not feel any difference when you get shot at so the hyperdrive range can take you a long way in the galaxy map and that's the one you want to go for the highest i ever saw was 165.5 on the exotic ships and the maneuverability was 435 that's the best i ever saw on exotics except a squid ship those have a better maneuverability much better up to 440 even and to get different stats what you need to do is just reload the autosave and wait for another ship and it will arrive with different stats really easy and the maneuverability you will know what you get after you buy it so do notice that okay let's uh, buy it and add to the collection let's go up to the starship outfitting station here you can scrap this ship for parts or upgrade if you want to upgrade your storage slots i will show you what you need to do like you see in my inventory i don't got anything except the creature palette so you will see what we're gonna get from the scrapping let's claim it again and we're gonna get for this ship only this ship 
all those items to sell and we're gonna get two s-class upgrades that you can sell for nanites and three storage augmentations that you can use those right here to apply those augmentations and increase the storage for your ship you can upgrade it up to uh, 48 in the general and 21 in the tech and now to sell the upgrades for nanites you can approach every merchant right beside you and click on the purchase upgrade modules choose the sell tab right here and you can sell the upgrades you got on your exosuit that you just got you can see we're gonna get 461 for the first and almost the same for the second it's almost a thousand nanites in one minute or two really fast and the max you can get from exotic ships is three s-class upgrades and three storage augmentations and one of the ships i'm gonna show you today gets you that so i got you covered and those ships i tested out myself they are reliable they arrive like nine times out of ten the least so you don't have to wait a lot but if you wait and they don't arrive after a minute or two just reload their order save they will come on the next wave and like you see here i just made another auto save to save the progress and reload again and the ship will arrive again even if you bought it even if you scrapped it it will arrive again every time you reload and that's what awesome with first wave exotic ships you can get s-class upgrades you can get storage for your ship and you can get a cool ship at the end upgrade it and have a good time with it and there's pretty awesome ones and now we are probably asking what about more ships cubo are you gonna show us more ships and the answer is heck yeah let's go